Hey, I'm Srini, the creator of Maximize Your Output with Mem. Have you ever felt like you're working on or buried in tasks that don't really move the needle on anything important? Well, what if you could effortlessly identify the most important and high impact tasks that move you towards your most important goals? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you one of the most advanced strategies for using Mem to develop a high impact task planning model using the knowledge that you already have inside of your knowledge base. Now, let's get to the tutorial. So I wanted to do this video because somebody asked in the mem Slack group how I actually put this into action because I'd shared a uh, post about building a task evaluation model. Let's start from the top right. <clears throat> so I decided to do this video because somebody in the mem Slack group asked me about the task planning model. Ah, okay, from the top. So one of the reasons I decided to do this video was because somebody in the mem Slack group was asking me about a post that I made about building a high impact task planning model, and they wanted to see how it worked in action. So I thought it was a perfect opportunity. Now, keep in mind, this is one of the more advanced strategies, and this is going to be the first in a series of tutorials on much more advanced strategies in mem. So a couple of things to note here. First, this largely depends on the knowledge that you already have in your knowledge base, because we're going to reference uh, several different pieces of knowledge that exist. But even if you don't have those pieces of knowledge, you can still build a similar model. And the purpose of this model is to basically help you have MemChat generate tasks that are relevant to your ultimate goals. So let's get into the steps of how we create the model and i'll show you examples of the content in the model and then we'll actually run the model uh, against the ultimate goals so ultimate goals is going to be the ultimate goals are going to be your most important goals this actually basically gives memchat context so that way when you ask memchat to generate lists of relevant tasks using this task planning model you will then have a list of goals that it can reference the criteria are probably the most important part, and your criteria can be whatever you want them to be. So in my case, for example, I wanted to use high impact, adding a zero, which is based on some conversation I had with a mentor who had asked me the question, is whatever you're doing going to add a zero to the number that you're trying to approve, which is basically a sort of 10x mindset. And then what you will end up doing is you're going to combine all of them into a task evaluation model. So the cool thing about this is that MEMS AI can actually write the content for each of these different MEMS for you. But what I want to show you first are the criteria. And so if you look here, you can see that each criteria is clearly defined. And one of the criteria, what I recommend is basically a theoretical description, not just a thing with examples, because if you give it examples, then MEMChat could say, oh, okay, based on those examples, we might end up just getting those same tasks as recommendations. And that's not what we want. We just want this to be a theoretical concept. So you can see here that we have adding a zero and it explains exactly what adding a zero is. And then it has extreme revenue growth. Now, keep in mind, part of the way I came up with this model was based on the book notes that I had inside of MEM, which at this point, there are probably several hundred, maybe upwards of a thousand different book notes from the various books that I've read. So again, this all depends on the content that you already have in MEM, which is why the more you put into MEM, the better it gets. And often when we read books about social science or we see these really great mental models that sound really cool in practice, but they're hard to apply, that's where AI can really come in and you can actually take knowledge that seems theoretical and actually make it actionable and very practical. So you've got these three different criteria. Then what you're going to do after you create the different criteria for MEM is you're going to actually have one mem that actually is the task evaluation model itself that basically combines everything together because then you're just going to reference this one mem for your mem chat prompt. Now, of course, the last piece, of course, is one of the most important. So you can see here that I listed three ultimate goals. And when it comes to these ultimate goals, what I recommend is you use the sort of smart goal system or very clear goals, right? So you have a number that you want to hit and a deadline and a specific outcome. So in this case, it's incre increasing the number of subscribers to the YouTube channel by 30%. Launch a new course and generate $1,200 in revenue by December 1st. And so you can see each one of these is very clearly defined. And this is really important because the clearer these goals are, 
and the more concrete they are, the easier it's going to be for MemChat to suggest useful tasks. And that's where this becomes really useful because then you don't actually have to think about what tasks you should be working on tomorrow. What you can actually do is you can actually have MemChat suggests a list of high impact tasks for tomorrow that are based on the goal. So you can see here, I have this prompt, which I actually had MemChat write for me just so that I could make sure that MemChat would understand it. So one of the things that I'm going to do that's different here, mainly because I don't want MemChat to think this is my own knowledge base, I'm going to tell it that I'm going to run a simulation based on the prompt below. And the reason I'm doing that is mainly for the purposes of this video, but that's not something you're going to use here. But you can see here that I've linked in a bi-directional link the criteria for the task evaluation model. I've linked my ultimate goals. And what I could basically say is generate a list of high impact tasks, or I could just say generate a list of five high impact tasks that I can spend my time on tomorrow. And so now what we've got is we've laid the foundation by creating all of these different MEMS, which all have the content that the AI is going to draw from. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this prompt and let's just spell check and correct that. And we're going to go ahead and we are going to put this into MemChat. And let's see what it comes up with. So this is actually pretty good. It's not exactly perfect, but you can see that some of it is a bit general. Some of it is a bit more concrete. For example, collaborating with influence, that's not that clear, but you can see here, it tells me to create a detailed content strategy. And of course, we can actually have MemChat help us do each one of these things as well. So for example, I could say, hey, why don't you help me with this and go deeper on this and give me more specifics and give me more specifics. And so what it'll do now is it will take this high impact task planning model that we built and it will start to break this down in a lot more detail. So you can see here, this is actually a lot more useful. So you will also have subtasks within these tasks. So you could actually have it break everything down into a overarching task and a series of subtasks that are part of the bigger task. So let's go back to the outline and I just wanna recap everything here for you. So first thing you're going to do to create this model is you're going to have a mem that lists all of your goals. The next thing you want to do is create criteria because the criteria are how mem chat will decide which of those uh, tasks are relevant to the goals. And then the third thing you're going to do is you're going to create a mem that actually has your task evaluation model so that mem chat will then filter and decide whether the tasks you're working on are high impact or not. So you're going to create all these different mems. So in this case, we've used a total of three. So is it high impact? Is it going to add a zero? Does it have the potential to increase revenue substantially? And then you have your mem that has the goals. And then you have a prompt. And this is a very simple prompt. And I'll actually include a text version of this inside of the YouTube video description, as well as the different types of mems that you need to create. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if there's Anything you'd like me to cover in this advanced strategies series that I'm going to be doing, please let me know.